So today I am painting some flames using Alpha 6 Corporation's enamels. Um, I'm using yellow, red, and orange, and I'm not using the pink. I don't know why I have that in there. Um, I'm also using the stubby paintbrush, and I'm just going to show you guys how I do my flames. This is really sped up. Pretty much all that I'm doing here is just outlining and filling in the whole flame with yellow because then I'm going to go in with my orange and kind of add that on top of the yellow because I do want it to blend. So making sure that your paint is wet here really helps with that blending. You don't want it to dry. And this enamel really takes, it takes a little bit of time to dry. So it's not like you're super rushed while painting. So you can see I just kind of go back and forth between the yellow and the orange to get the blend that I want because I want it to be a gradual fade from the orange to the yellow. And then I go in with red on the edges and kind of outline it a bit and then blend that in with the orange because again, I want it a little bit faded. So pretty much I'm still going back and forth. I switched over to a smaller brush at this point. Um, I wanted something a bit smaller so I could get a really good point on the flames because I really wanted them to have sharp points. I'm just blending this around. And as you can kind of see, I used a wax pencil to draw my flames on here first so I could get the shape of what I wanted. It's kind of rubbed off since, I mean, it's a wax pencil. It does come off. You don't need any paint thinner or nothing like that you can honestly just wipe it off so really just my hands touching the cup got rid of that pencil but that just helps lay out your your design that way you don't have to go like straight in with paint it's kind of like sketching it out first but you can just wipe it away and you can paint right over it too it's no big deal but yeah i've been working with these enamels for a little bit now and they are really awesome uh, the only issue with this cup is that it is powder coated and if you know anything about powder coat you know that it doesn't, nothing likes to stick to it. So it's kind of a struggle to paint on this because as good as it looks like it doesn't want to bite but that's just the nature of powder coat. You really have to prep it before you paint on it and I didn't think anything of that when I got the cup. I was just excited and decided to just practice on it I didn't think it was going to turn out into such a cool design so now I'm really kind of upset at myself that I didn't prep it any better so this will have to be cleared over and hopefully I won't ruin the design um because these enamels uh they're supposed to be just on their own so like if you're pinstriping anything like a car or a motorcycle and such you just do this right on top of the clear with no prep and they last like they bite very well into paint so that's awesome just I was a dork and did this on powder coat but it's still good the paint still looks amazing it's still glossy it still lays perfect like zero complaints about that. So really, I'm just showing you my way of how I do flames. Uh, there's a million different ways that you can do flames. I know even when I'm painting, I do them a whole bunch of different ways. This is just what I wanted to do on this day. It's what I thought would look best. So really, there's tons of different videos, tons of different ways to do them. This is just kind of my way of doing them. I really just freehand what shape I want, and then as I'm filling it in, I kind of change the shape a tiny bit and just go with whatever's flowing at the point. I want them to all look really similar. Like I don't want different styles of flames, but but I do want them to all look like they still belong in the same family because there is a big difference between like traditional flames and having really airbrushed realistic looking flames. So really you can do them any way you want. I just kind of wanted to keep mine all the same, but each flame has like its own little personality, but they still work good together. So this one I'm still shading the same way I did all the other ones. And one thing I'm not showing here is how I clean my brushes because I am cleaning them in between colors. Not every time, but just a little bit between switching colors like if I want to go back to yellow after I just used red um, all I'm doing is I have a little bit of mineral spirits in those white cups in the background and really I just take my brush and kind of like quickly just rinse it in the mineral spirits I kind of dry it off on the paper towel and then I'll do it again if I don't think it's clean enough or I'll just 
go for it, but I don't clean my brushes too crazy good in between switching colors because they don't need to be that clean um, unless you're going in between like white and then black like then you're going to want a clean brush but in this case I didn't need them too clean so here you can kind of see I just quickly washed it quick dried it off on the paper towel went into the next color you can even like go in between colors just by wiping it off so you can kind of see there I kind of wiped some of the paint off onto the little magazine that I'm using and then went in with the other color because it does help to kind of blend if you have both colors on your brush you don't necessarily have to have a clean brush like every time you're going back and forth but I cut out all the cleaning just because it takes way too long the video would have been so long if I left it all in but yeah just going back and forth and of course at the end of the day when I am done painting like I'll really go in and clean my brushes because you don't want paint like this to stay in your brush like your brushes will be ruined if you don't clean them out good so once I'm done for sure with my brushes I really make sure that I clean them with either brush cleaner or mineral spirits or paint thinner really it doesn't matter what you use um I just really make sure I get all the paint out and then I have a brush oil that I then put on my brushes and I really load them up with brush oil and just let them sit like that so if I'm not using a brush I have brush oil on it but that's only for these enamels because they're just the paint thinner is so hard on the brush it'll dry it out super quick and then your brush will kind of turn like hard in a way and it's not as easy to use so the brush oil just really like keeps your brushes alive and that they're not just like dying because they're so hard and then you can't like pull a good line because you have like crazy hard hairs like sticking out everywhere so Really the key is to take care of your brushes. Um, I have a million brushes. I used to be super bad at taking care of them, like especially like oil painting. Oh my gosh, I never wanted to deal with the hassle of cleaning a painting after, not a painting, cleaning a brush after I did an oil painting. I just never wanted to clean them. So I would leave the brush and then it would harden and then that brush would be ruined. So I just throw it away. But in this case, I really make sure I clean my brushes because they're expensive. Like. They're very nice brushes and they cost a tiny bit of money. So like you want to keep them good looking unless you just have the money to blow on brushes then like go for it. But yeah, I just really, really like to keep them clean. It's just easier that way. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh dang, apparently I forgot to record putting purple stripes around all of these because I put purple around it before I do the blue. So at this point, I'm taking a darker blue and outlining those purple stripes that I did all around. Uh, you can't really see the blue that well, but you can see it in person. Just it's hard to get it on camera because it is a really dark blue. Um, I really love this blue. It looks really good and it just added an extra pop to the flames. Just really taking my time and outlining it. You can kind of see it here and there. I'm always super jittery when I do this part and weirdly enough, like if I drink coffee, my hand is way more steady than if I'm not drinking coffee, I guess. I don't know, it's weird because caffeine makes a lot of people like kind of jittery and shake when they paint but for me it's opposite like the more coffee I have the straighter my lines are and really I like can't take my time with them because then I notice my hands shaky too so I just have to like go for it just quickly outline and I get totally better lines than if I was to like sit there and super plan it out like you just have to go for it really when you're outlining things and if you ever mess anything up you can just wipe it away with paint thinner so as you can see, the blue looks super cool. Looks great with my little rat fink guy. I love him. He turned out so good. It took me hours to paint him the other day. But this cup is almost done. Once all the blue is done, I'm adding another design to it. I actually already added the design to it. Um, I made kind of like a Volkswagen flying eyeball design. So I did take a bunch of pictures of this and post it to my Instagram if you want to check that out because I did do a whole rat fink design with this. Um, it's just Jessica F underscore KS. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, I love how this cup turned out. It is so good. 
I ended up going in with white and outlining it again later. But yeah, pretty much it. So thanks for watching.